Have you ever looked at the moon and thought, well, how did that get there? Our guess is probably not. Well, what you may be surprised to hear is that our scientists of the past and present do not currently have a definitive answer. Man may have landed on the moon, but we are still not entirely certain how our satellite came to be. We will be diving into one moon theory that dates back 4.5 billion years ago that appears to have left several Everest-sized marks within the Earth's crust to a sleeping walrus taking a ride. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three fascinating discoveries from Earth, space and sea. The Earth is crumbling in West Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. The saying is a big part of Texas pride, and they will not be shy to let you know that the food, the music, the cowboy hats, and the state itself is bigger and better than anywhere else in the country. There is, however, something big happening in the state that Texans are not talking about, and it keeps getting bigger. While it might surprise some Texans to know that there are two massive holes in the West Texas desert, the people of Winkler County are all too familiar with the sinkholes, nicknamed Wink Sinks, threatening their country's surrounding area. The first hole appeared in 1980. In less than 24 hours, the sinkhole grew to be over 33.5 meters deep and over 33 meters wide. The sinkhole shows no signs of slowing down as it has continued to expand year over year. In 2002, the county experienced its second sinkhole, only a mile away from the first. Today, Wink Sink 1 measures over 117 meters across, and the Wink Sink 2 has grown over 109 meters, making it the length of an American football field. Researchers from the Southern Methodist University have studied the area surrounding the sinkhole, and the data shows the terrain is becoming increasingly unstable. Over the last decade, several studies, including images captured by orbiting satellites, show that while the sinkholes continue to expand, the landscape around them is subsiding as well. With every year, the two sinkholes grow in size, effectively closing the one-mile gap between them. It is also entirely possible for new sinkholes to form in the area. Based on the compiled data, it is no longer a matter of if it will happen, but when. A collapse of this magnitude would be catastrophic to the surrounding area. Scientists Kin Wu Kim and Zong Lu of SMU speculate that decades of drilling for gas and oil in the area may be to blame for the alarmingly unstable landscape. The introduction of fresh water into the underground can dissolve the Earth's salt layers, causing the terrain above and around them to collapse. While oil and gas extraction are a possible cause, Fresh water below the surface is also a naturally occurring phenomenon, so it is difficult to say with certainty if they are to blame for these two wink sinks. While much of Texas is seemingly unaware of this inevitable outcome, the people of Wink and Kermit, the two towns in the area, are seemingly unbothered by the entire situation. When journalists from the Texas Tribune reached out for comment back in 2016, local sheriff George Keeley was not worried in the slightest. He replied, we don't lose sleep over it. While the closest sinkhole is still a mile away from the nearest town, it does not directly threaten the locals. The more significant issue is that the surrounding area is densely populated with equipment used for oil and gas production in addition to pipelines containing hazardous liquid. They may not be in direct danger, but they are in for quite a mess should the sinkholes converge or new ones emerge. Arctic walrus takes a nap on an iceberg, wakes up in Ireland. Our next story features an unexpected visitor on the coast of Ireland. Murren Houlihan and her father were taking a walk along Glanleam Beach on Valentia Island on March 14th when they spotted what they assumed was a seal. It was only once they noticed the tusks that they realised they were looking at a young male walrus. As puzzled as they were to see a walrus on the coast of Ireland, they explained that the animal seemed equally shocked with its present location. Kevin Flannery, marine biologist and director of the Dingle Ocean World Aquarium, explained that the walrus likely fell asleep on a piece of an iceberg off the Greenland ice sheet and drifted off across the ocean. 
When the walrus woke up from its nap in the middle of the sea and did not recognize its surroundings, it attempted to swim home but unfortunately went in the wrong direction. Flannery noticed that the walrus appeared to have little body fat, suggesting that he might have had to swim for hundreds of miles before finally finding land. Flannery told the Irish Times that it is very unusual to spot a walrus in their part of the world. While there have been previously reported sightings in the towns of Shannon and Mayo in the late 1980s and 90s, this has been the first confirmed sighting since October 1930. The young walrus is not the only animal to wander so far from home. In 2019, a polar bear was found roaming the suburbs of Siberia, Russia, over 300 miles from home. In both of these instances, it calls to question how many more sightings of this kind will happen with the rapid melting of the Greenland ice sheet, causing several species to travel hundreds of miles to find food. Mysterious blobs of dense rock hundreds of miles tall sits deep inside our Earth. Our final discovery is a mystery whose origin has yet to be fully explained. Deep beneath the Earth's crust are two massive blobs of rock that resemble a pair of hands cupping the Earth's core. The word massive is an understatement as these formations spread thousands of miles in either direction within the Earth's crust and make up 600 miles of the Earth's 1800 mile deep mantle. Geologists have spent the last four decades trying to determine the source of these gigantic continent-sized formations that have been discovered under Africa and the Pacific Ocean. While some experts have suggested that these are tectonic plate fragments trapped beneath each other, new research points to an otherworldly explanation instead. Yuan, a PhD student from Arizona State University, suggested that the blobs are the remains of a planetary embryo the size of Mars, named Theia, that collided with the Earth in its early infancy 4.5 billion years ago. Yuan theorizes that Theia's mantle could have been several percent denser than the Earth's. This theory would explain how it would have been possible for Theia's mantle to sink through the planet's lowermost mantle and surround our planet's core. In 2019, while studying the plumes of hot rock and magma from some Samoan and Icelandic volcanoes, scientists were able to identify several elements that date back 4.5 billion years ago, the time when Theia is suggested to have collided with Earth. While this data does support the collision theory, there is still not enough resounding scientific evidence to support it fully. The resulting impact is also the most popular theory to date about the origins of our Moon. The collision would have caused the Earth's surface to explode into a sea of raging magma, shooting planetary debris out into space that would later form our only permanent natural satellite. Another interesting theory is that when the two primordial worlds collided, their cores fused into a single core, potentially releasing the chemicals needed to support life on our planet. It has also been suggested that these blobs are so massively dense that they contribute to the weakening of our Earth's magnetic field. While the planetary collision is the most popular hypothesis explaining the origins of our Moon and the blobs cradling the Earth's core, scientists have still yet to find enough concrete evidence of Theia's existence. But what do you make of our planet's endless fascinating discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.